what is up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is chris and today i am back with another video here so if you're new to the channel or new clicking upon this video my name is chris i do flyers content here on youtube um if you like how any of that sounds whether it's the game reviews like this one um discussion videos live streams i do a show that's going to be starting coming up um tuesdays from six to seven and uh yeah so uh if you like again if you like any of that sounds hit that subscribe button down below so this game for the flyers game 64 in tampa bay uh i'm obviously not in my normal spot um i'm currently on spring break for school so i'm not home and uh, i will be in carolina for the game on thursday for the flyers um so i won't be in the same spot that i usually am for that either um so yeah, you know, a little bit different. The Flyers lose this one, five to two to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, I didn't think the Flyers were horrible in this game, but they weren't good enough. And I don't think John Tortorella helped. Um, Farabee, Frost, Tippett, Lemieux, Cates, Lawton, Van Riems, Dyke, Hayes, Allison, Delorier, and Lagzinski, Sandheimer, Stalinen, Provorov, York, Sealer, and D'Angelo, and Braun. Flyers go eleven and seven. And Carter Hart was in net. So first period, the Flyers actually scored the first goal of this game from Morgan Frost, and it was a beautiful play. Because there was going to be a penalty on the play. And Tippett, you know, he, he just, he's made that spin move type of play before. And he gets up, he ended up getting tripped up by Kucherov. So it would have been a penalty. Really nice pass by Farabee. What I loved about Frost is that he waited a second. He didn't try to force a pass or force the shot. He waited, found a spot, picked a corner. one nothing Flyers. Unfortunately, a couple minutes later, it was a good start for the Flyers. You know, they had a couple of shots. Tampa... Had some looks, and obviously the Lightning were, you know, winless in, in five, uh, you know, their past five games coming into this one. So, for the Flyers, you know, you, you wanted to kind of, you know, this game was going to go either one of two ways. The Flyers were going to keep, keep that going for Tampa, or Tampa was going to, this is going to be like their get-right game, kind of. And that's what happened. 1-1, Kalorn scores on the power play. Uh, the really bad shift from the Flyers. Um, after a couple good shifts, Lightning were all over us, and they get a power play. Sanheim with a tripping call. Um, and the first one was the trip on Farabee, and that wasn't the best penalty to take, um, Sanheim with the trip as well, uh, and that was in the, the, uh, defensive zone, just really bad, you know, overall, and a couple good plays on the penalty kill overall, and then Farabee ends up getting hit up high from Hagel with an elbow, then he runs Chernak, so it was just a useless penalty, there was no need to take it. So he takes it. We go into the second period. 2-1. Kucherov scores. A couple minutes later. Flyers had a couple good shifts. Had some momentum. You know, they were able to generate shots, things like that. 3-1. Colton scores. 4-1. Hart falls behind the net. They center it out in front. Kalorna scores. It, it could have been really bad in the way that this was going. But thankfully, that wasn't the case. And the Flyers were at least able to kind of come back a little bit in this game. Have some good shifts. They get a goal from York. Um, and again, look. For right now... And for what the team is, there's little things that you want to say. And this goal ends up being Lemieux first as a flyer. He gets a little piece of it uh, on the deflection. And the Flyers had two power plays at the end of the second period. Um, a hold on Stamkos. Tippett was high stick for two minutes. They had a couple plays at the net. Nothing too crazy. D'Angelo had a chance late for, uh, you know, for Hayes. He doesn't shoot it. Downloaded D'Angelo. Let the Flyers had looks, right, to, to tie this. And you know, maybe get in, you know, within one goal. But in the third period, they just didn't look like they had, they had any offense. And uh, Tampa gets a, a power play of a trip from Van Reeves. Like, it was an offensive zone penalty. Um, and again, you know, for the third period, you had some looks. Frost had the play, you know, up the middle of the ice. Um, Kucherov would score to make it 5-2. There's a couple things I want to talk about here. D'Angelo... And the spearing incident. <laughs> it's not. It's not the best play. It's it's a pretty low. Pretty low play to make. Um, it's not ideal. Uh, it's definitely not something you want to see. I wouldn't be surprised if the Angelo gets suspended. Um, for a couple of games at least. Like. It's it, it's not a good look, uh, for for Tortorella to start this game with eleven and seven, then he sits, Sanheim and Farabee for the second period, 
trying to get those guys going. Uh, it clearly isn't working. I, I, I really don't know what's going to happen with, with them. I mean, I'm not saying I'm giving up on them, but something has to give here. Farabee's had chances. Um, had a handful of chances the other night to score. Couldn't, you know, now in this game, takes the penalty, he gets sad. Like, it's been a really unfortunate season for Farabee. Same with Sandheim. Um you know, he, you know, he gets the extension at the beginning of the year. You're thinking he can hopefully carry the offense over, and it just he just doesn't look like the same player. And there's games with Sanheim where he looks great one game, and the next game he, he is invisible. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's been very frustrating watching those two guys. Um, I thought 5-1-5, the Flyers had some good shifts and some good moments. You know, for, for what they are and, you know, what you're trying to build and, and things like that, I think there, there are some things you can take out. Uh, of games like this, but, you know, overall, the, the difference is Tampa's here and the Flyers are here, and, you know, it is what it is. So, two more. Uh, I cannot wait to be in Carolina. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Stay tuned for that. I have a vlog and reaction video coming. going to be doing that with my dad, so that'll come out on Friday. Also, the first Flyers flashback uh, Friday video, that's going to come out Friday as well. It's a new series I'm doing. That'll That'll be live at noon. Uh, and, uh, yeah, again, same thing with the game review. I'll always do the game review as well. So thanks everybody so much for all the support. Unfortunately, you know, flyers fall on this one, but Hey, season's, uh, getting towards the end here, but we'll see. Thanks everybody so much for all the support. And I'm going to talk to you all again soon.